Okay, the way I do this is incredibly simple and fun. The first, um, I'm gonna show you two different ways. The first way is with 16 gauge only. And that I think is the easiest way. The only catch is you have to find stones that will fit 16 gauge. The hole, both of these are pretty much done with uh, stones that are gonna have holes, but, uh, or beads. But uh, you could do it with stones that don't. You just have to use other wrapping techniques that I'll teach in a lot of different videos. But in this case, let's keep it simple, stones with holes. This first method, 16 gauge only. Stones, make sure the 16 gauge fits. They're a little more rare, but they're not that hard to find. Um, the second one I'm gonna do is gonna be with stones with smaller holes. So here's the first one. All right, so first lay out your stones. Pick a center stone. Um, I always like to pick one that's a little bigger, a little fancier. And, and then I like to pick like two going on the outer edges, slightly different. Um, getting slowly, gradually smaller as I come out. Now granted, this, you can do it any way you want. You can get bigger, you can put five, instead of five, you can have seven or nine. But I like to have a center piece and then side pieces moving out. So this is really easy. Just take, I'd say about a foot, somewhere around a foot for the middle piece, maybe a little more, and then slowly less smaller pieces. Cut about the same piece for each size, even though you don't need to make them the same exact pattern and that's the fun part you shouldn't make them the same exact pattern so what you're going to do is thread the 16 gauge wire through your main stone take it to the middle crimp it and then just start wrapping in different patterns and swirls any way you want 16 gauge can hold its own so you're you're making a tapestry kind of like a scaffolding of pretty things and it really, anything you've learned, anything you've practiced up to this point, I'll, you'll see me making swirls, you'll see me coming around, I'll usually put a loop at the top and the bottom, because that just makes it pretty and fun. Um, and when you have, a, as soon as you have a loop, that's something you can anchor something else to by wrapping it around the loop. Um, but the only right or wrong is you don't want it to be too flimsy, so don't have like a crazy curly cue sticking straight out like that, that's just gonna catch on something. Usually if I have a, a loose end that I make into a curly cue, I try to tuck it in somewhere or bend it or you know move it somewhere where it doesn't snag very easily. And then my other loose ends, if I don't do a curly cue, I tuck them usually into one of these little scarf bowls. So that's that. And then take a little bit less wire for each of these, do the same thing. And what you end up with is something like this and then I usually just take two jump rings to connect each of the connections and add some chunky chain on the end to finish it off with a nice lobster clasp. And the lobster clasp with the chunky chain makes it adjustable because this is so pretty. You want it to sit right on the neck or the collarbone at the exact place you want, depending on the how the shirt is or the dress is cut. You want it to either be on the skin or the shirt at a certain place, so having it adjustable is really good. Um, and that's pretty much it. That is the 16 gauge only method. The other method, if you can't find stones that fit 16 gauges, it's just as easy, almost. And basically what you're gonna do is build your tapestry first with your wire. Um, make sure it's secure. Again, make sure there's not weird things jumping out every which way but you're just gonna basically build that, um, build those fancy little swirly parts. And then you're gonna come back afterwards with your stone, lay it on top, get your thinner wire, I'm just gonna pretend green is thinner wire, and thread that in, you know, wrap it any which way you need to make that stone secure on top of the tapestry. And then do the same with your other two stones. Just thread them with your thinner wire over your pretty tapestry.
And then, you know, everything else is the same. Jump rings, chunky chain, lobster clasp. Remember, you're going to have to raise a tank of lobsters in order to get their claws off of them and dip them in silver or copper, you know, to get your lobster clasp, unless you want to pay somebody else to do it. I, I like to raise the lobsters myself. I kind of build a kinship with them. I get to know them better. And, you know, and then when it's time for them to give up their claws, I feel like they, they know it's going to a good cause. Claws for a good cause. It's, a, it's kind of like a charity.